Hi everyone, welcome to the channel Sign of Horses. My name is Sikna and today's vlog is all about how much your horse weighs so you can give them a deworming medicine safely. Here in the Netherlands we have to deworm our horses on a regular basis, or at least to do a, a search for worm eggs and do a deworming session after that. Uh, it's a necessary evil, uh, but it just has to be done to keep your horses healthy. What is very important is that you know the weight of your horse. It doesn't have to be the exact weight, but you have to be able to um, have the right dosage. It's better to overdose than to underdose to prevent the worms getting resistant for the deworming. There are three ways to find out the weight of your horse. One is using the body conditioning score, which will tell you that your horse is overweight or underweight or perfectly fine. You still don't know the exact weight with that method, but you do know if your horse is in a good shape. We'll do that in another vlog or you just have to Google it if you can't resist, because I don't know when I'm going to make that vlog yet. The other way, the other method is using a measuring tape. You measure the circumference of your horse's and you measure the length and then there's a formula for you do to figure out how much they weigh. If you hear squeaking in the background it's the dog. The dog wants to be in the vlog I think. Another way to measure... Another way to find out the weight of your horse is by putting them on the scales and that is one of the two ways that we're going to do today. There is a scale that you can put your horse on and then know what they weigh. It's not going to be a human scale, it's a special horse scale. And today we're having Chantal over from the paardenweegaal.nl, which is the Dutch site for the horse scales that comes to your stables and then you can let your horses walk onto it and then you know the exact weight of your horse in that moment. We're going to invite her again next year. She also measures the height of the horses so that we know exactly how much they've grown, if they've gained weight or lost weight. And for today it was very interesting to see the difference between the measuring method and the actual weighing method. So let's get started with using the measuring method. I am using Old Blizz as an example because he's not scared of the measuring tape. He's very desensitized to things touching his body. So he's okay with it. And he also has the most clear points where to measure him um, because he's the best defined horse of our herd at the moment. We actually know our horses are overweight. Thing we realize that we can see with our naked eye. Uh, we just don't know how much. And we also know the reasons why. So they're gonna be fine. And we're gonna, of course, take measurements to make sure that they lose some weight. What you need to measure is around the chest of your horse, which is right after the highest point, right after the withers, and then around to where and around to where the chin chinch will lie, or your girth will lie. It will be best if your horse is squared, and you can wait for an exhale to get the right measurement. Don't squeeze too tight and don't keep it too loose it's just a comfortable snug fit so that is the first measurement that you need let's be nice and calm about this even with liz we want to set the right example so the next measurement is the length of your horse you might want to have somebody to help you with this i'm lucky that Blizz is um, not too long and i can actually reach from front to back the point where you want to start measuring is right here where the shoulder, where the, is it the shoulder? No, the shoulder is right here. The elbow, I uh, just, this point right here, the furthest on the chest. Uh, the other sticky point is, and again, it's important that your horse is squared up and somewhat straight. He's moving a little, that's okay. Just checking, seeing. This method is not going to be very exact and it's a guess at best. But let's see about the facts and what they tell us. 
Another breathing environment. Mm, more cuddles and hugs. Buddy. chart we have a magnificent chart now <laughs> it's all in Dutch it's all in Dutch it's all in Dutch but it's a Dutch chart Liz measures 175 around his chest 146 is his length and then we came to 367 kilograms uh, he was measured at 1 meter 40 in height and the scales set 410 kilograms so the difference is 34 kilograms. Not so much difference there. But one of the biggest differences we noticed in Brissinger, we measured around Brissinger's chest, one meter 80. His length is actually shorter than Bliss, or at least we measured him shorter than Bliss, 145. And that came with a calculation to 395 kilograms. He's a little bit taller than Bliss, 142 and the skills said 460 kilograms i knew he was overweight but the scary thing is that his measured weight his his calculated weight is under 400 kilograms so the difference is 65 kilograms now that can make a huge difference if you need to deworm your horse so when deworming i've been giving bliss 500 kilograms of deworming um, paste, paste, paste is the word. That was also something that I would have given Brisinger, but I think I need to up that. So in our chart, in this row, you can see how much they are off. And we also feel that Blizz, no, not Blizz, that Twisty, Jackie and Brissinger they need to lose some weight and we figure that Blizz and Merida just simply judging by body conditioning score that they are fine for now. We'll see how they measure up next year. This is the end of the vlog. I hope you liked it. If you do give it a thumbs up. It's just a click of a button. If you're into horses you might. If you're into Viking stuff it might be interesting for you. You have something new to chat about with your friends. If you do, don't forget to tell them to subscribe to this channel. Whatever you do, don't forget to release that inner viking! And I will see you next time.